environment is full of wonderful plants growing in different places. Mountains and hills, grasslands and plains, even deserts. Did you know that there are some plants that grow on the surface of lakes while some others grow on the seabed deep in the sea? In other words, plants can be found anywhere on the earth. The natural surroundings in which a living thing, that is animal or plant, lives, feeds and reproduces is called its habitat. The survival and growth of plants depend upon the climate, weather conditions and soil of the place. Plants of a particular region have special features that help them survive in their natural habitat. The process of developing certain features to suit one's environment is called adaptation. That is why we find certain plants in a particular area but not in another. Let us learn how plants adapt to the climatic conditions in their habitat in order to survive. Terrestrial Plants Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. They get their name from the Latin word terra meaning land. Terrestrial plants grow on different landforms such as mountains and hills, deserts and plains, grasslands and wet marshy places. Plants growing on mountains and hills Plants that grow on mountains and hills get ample sunlight and rain. Trees that grow on snow-capped mountains are tall and are shaped like a cone so that the snow slides off their branches quite easily. These trees are therefore called coniferous trees. Coniferous trees do not shed all their leaves during any particular period of the year. They are also generally evergreen, that is, green all through the year. Such plants show the following features. They are generally tall, straight and shaped like a cone. Their leaves have a waxy coating to protect them from the snow. Moreover, their needle-like leaves help the snow to slide off. Thus, such plants and trees are able to bear the extremely cold conditions on the mountains. These plants are mostly flowerless and have cones with seeds inside them. Some examples are pine, spruce, cedar, and fir. Plants in deserts Deserts are barren, that is dry, regions with very little rainfall. As such, they experience a very extreme climate, very hot during the day and very cool at night. Because of the extreme weather and poor rainfall, there is not much vegetation. Very few plants grow in deserts. These plants adapt themselves to the desert climate. Cacti are an excellent example of plants that adapt to desert climate. Some features of desert plants are the leaves are modified into spines to prevent loss of water by evaporation. 
These also help the plants to protect themselves from animals. Some desert plants have thick and fleshy leaves and stems which help them in storing water as well as in photosynthesis. Some desert plants have roots spreading wide near the surface while others have those that go deep into the ground in search of water. Plants growing in plains Plains are wide and fairly warm regions. Some areas in the plains experience a hot and wet climate, while in some others it rains all through the year. Naturally, plants growing in different areas of the plains adapt themselves to their immediate environment. Useful plants growing in the plains include cereals, fruits, vegetables and other crops. Winters are suitable for growing food crops like wheat and vegetable crops like carrot, radish, turnip, cabbage and cauliflower. Ladyfinger, gourd and cucumber are grown in plains during summers. Terrestrial plants growing in plains have well-arranged leaves to take in necessary sunlight. Also, a thin waxy layer on these leaves prevents them from drying out, especially during summers. The roots of these plants are also well developed so as to obtain essential nutrients and water from the soil. Some trees growing in plains lose all their leaves in winter and begin to grow new leaves in summer. Such trees are called deciduous trees. People, gulmohar, mulberry, poplar and shisham are some deciduous trees. Teak and coconut trees grow in the hot and wet areas of the plains and are evergreen. They do not shed all their leaves at a particular time. Plants in grasslands Grasslands are vast areas largely covered with grasses with few or no trees. About one-fourth of the Earth's land area is covered with grasslands. These areas do not receive much rainfall and the climate is hot and humid. The lower part of the grass remains rooted in the ground and germinates in the rainy season when it receives rain. Plants in marshy areas a marsh is a type of wetland that is mostly submerged in water. Such an area is usually found near the meeting point of rivers and oceans. The soil is sticky but not always clayey. It also has high salinity, that is high salt content and therefore holds water for a long time. The plants that grow in marshy areas are called mangroves. The soil being covered with water does not allow air to reach the roots of the plant. Therefore, these roots adapt to this condition by growing upward and taking in the air from the atmosphere instead of taking from the soil. Such roots are thus called breathing roots. Aquatic plants Aquatic plants are plants that grow in or near water. The word aquatic is derived from the Latin word for water, aqua. 
These plants are naturally adapted to living in wet conditions. Aquatic plants predominantly grow in water. These plants are of three types, floating plants, fixed plants and underwater, that is submerged, plants. These plants are classified on the basis of the positioning of their roots and leaves. Floating plants Some aquatic plants float freely on the surface of the water body they grow on. Water hyacinths, pistia and duckweed are some aquatic plants that float on freshwater bodies with their roots hanging freely in the water. Such plants have spongy bodies with air spaces in their stems and other parts that help them float on the water. They have stomata on the upper surface of their leaves as the lower surface is in contact with water. Fixed Aquatic Plants with Floating Leaves Water lily and lotus are freshwater plants. They have long stems with roots fixed to the bottom of the pond in the muddy soil. Their stems are hollow and light. These plants also have firm, flat and broad leaves. Since these leaves are free-floating, they are able to absorb more sunlight. Underwater or submerged plants Plants that grow underwater or are completely submerged underwater are called underwater plants. Freshwater plants such as Hydrilla, Vallisneria, also known as tape grass, grow underwater. These plants are fixed in the muddy soil. They have thin, narrow, flexible stems and leaves. This helps them to bend in the direction of flowing water and not break. The surface of such plants is adapted to exchanging gases dissolved in water since they do not have stomata. Insectivorous or carnivorous plants Plants that eat insects like spiders, mites and small rodents are insectivorous or carnivorous. They have certain special features that help them trap the prey. The Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant are insectivorous plants. Both attract their prey with their sweet fragrance. As soon as the insect lands on its leaves, the Venus flytrap simply shuts its leaves. The pitcher plant is shaped like a pitcher with its leaf acting as a lid to trap the prey.